My desk setup at home isn't ideal. I like running two monitors so that I can keep an eye on things or watch stuff when I game, but I am noticing a couple of problems with the way I've set it up. For starters, the standard stand takes up a lot of desk space. Then, they also don't raise the monitor high enough that I can sit comfortably with them at my eye line. Nor can I fit my speakers under them. And finally, there really isn't much room for adjustability unless I move everything around, which is kind of a pain lah. One easy solution was to just put a shelf here and then put the monitors on top, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, so I went searching online for a better solution, and I found this. It's a dual arm gas strut monitor arm thing that seems to solve all of my problems. But really, for just 150 ringgit? For context, this Ergotron one is 1.5k. Like, how, how, how can something that does the same thing have this big of a price gap? Well, let's find out. I have to say, for something in the cheap category, the packaging feels quite solid. The box is only slightly dented compared to the utter carnage that was the last thing I bought in this series. Uh, they even included free advertising at the back for a completely different product, which is not confusing at all. Inside, everything is individually wrapped and the cardboard insert doesn't really let the parts move or rattle around, which is good to see. If you're concerned about the assembly process, don't be, because it's honestly easier than putting Legos together. See that? Just follow the instructions included and you should have it set up in no time at all. They also include almost all of the tools you would need to put everything together so you won't need a special toolkit or anything like that. The only tool you'll need is a crosshead screwdriver for attaching the mount to your monitor. I will point out that there are two different mounting screws included, an M5 bolt and an M4 bolt, so make sure you pick the correct one for your particular monitor. And since we're talking about compatibility, these arms will work with monitors that support either 75mm or 100mm VESA mounts. Once everything was set up, I was honestly very impressed. I set out to solve three main issues I had with my original setup, and as it stands right now, the NB arms seem to solve all three of them. For starters, I'm absolutely gobsmacked at just how much extra space I have right now. At a glance, my setup might look identical, but now there's actually just a ton of usable space under the monitors. It never occurred to me just how much space silly stock monitor stands take up until now. On top of that, these arms can also place the monitor much higher, which now allows me to line them up nicely with my eye line for a more ergonomic seating position. And yes, with this added height, I can also fit my speakers comfortably under the monitors and even have some space left over to upgrade to bigger ones down the road. Since I opted for guest strut arms, I also get a ton of adjustability with each individual monitor. But more than that is how easy it is to change positions on the fly. The only thing I would have maybe liked to see a little bit more is to have like more range in the tilt axis. As it is right now, it's quite limited, especially compared to, you know, how adjustable everything else is. Each arm fits monitors between 17 to 27 inches with weights between 2 to 9 kilograms. And you can adjust the strength of the uh, rebound, I guess, via a bolt in the monitor arm. So out of the box, it is preset to about 5 kilograms, so I had to soften them on my lightweight 24-inch monitors so they wouldn't just bounce around when I tried to adjust them. One nice side benefit that I didn't see coming was the built-in cable organization features on the NB160. You have a little hanger on the upper arm and a little cubby on the lower arm to tuck your cables away. I did have to swap one of my cables out for a longer one to accommodate the extra routing. So far, I'm absolutely loving these monitor arms. Not only do they give me a ton of flexibility on top of solving my three key problems, but they're also very sturdy. One of the main worries I had with switching to a cheap stand setup like this was the wobble. I mean, I even experienced that with the stands that come with the expensive Samsung monitors that I typically review, so it was definitely a concern for something in the, you know, quote-unquote, cheapest category. 
But so far with my monitors, I'm seeing zero wobble. Uh, for context, my monitors have a combined weight of just under nine kilograms. So I can't really speak to how sturdy they would be with, you know, like something heavier. But for both of mine, they're rock solid. That's it. While I do think these monitors are functionally brilliant, they're certainly not perfect. One thing you didn't see during my on-camera installation was how these monitors fit on my main PC table. So unlike my studio table, there isn't nearly as much space to clamp the arms on because of the plank at the back. This meant that I had to do a lot of troubleshooting just to get it to fit properly. And even then, they're not fully fitted. Because of that, I'd recommend that you measure the space where you intend to clamp this arm before pulling the trigger. Besides that, while the arms don't take up a whole lot of space on the table, they do require space for articulation. In my example, I had to pull my table a little bit off the wall so that the arm wouldn't bump into the back of it. And finally, we've got the build quality. So this is a cheap arm after all, so it's definitely not finished in a way that I'd call premium. While I think they did a good job functionally, I'm not sure how the finishing will hold up over time. There are a lot of plastic covers hiding what looks like bare metal and even the painted portions don't feel like they used particularly good paint. Just installing them, I've already scuffed the mounting points and I'm now worried about any potential rusting in our humid climate. But these are things that I will have to find out later down the line because I have only been using them for a few weeks. For now though, I'm super chuffed and I think that for the price, I honestly can't be mad. Will the Ergotron ones be better? Probably, but I have a hard time believing that they'd be 10 times better than these. All right, that's pretty much it for that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, it has been about a week since I last filmed that video or finished filming that video rather and the monitor stands are still doing great. They're still holding well, still no wobble. So all good so far. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of them. Do you have like the single arm version? Do you use this also? Or do you have other recommendations that you think people can check out? Leave them in the comments below. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for the support for the last episode in this series, uh, which I, I did not expect. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know, uh, uh, let Sir Jin Chow know in the comment section below and uh, I'll see what I can do to make that happen. Um, yeah, so what should I buy next? You know, I'm open to suggestions. I saw a couple of suggestions in the last video, but uh, I will be seeing lah what's interesting and what's not. Uh, a couple of really good ideas actually. All right, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I'm Rory. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.